Hey everybody! It is early, early Sunday morning. The sun hasn't even come up yet and we are back in my craft room because I have another project I want to show you guys. Another Halloween related project. But before we get to that, I'm going to give you an update on my Halloween banner. As you can tell, I got all my chipboard letters painted and glittered and glued down. I got my holes punched in the tabs. All I have to do now is run the ribbon through it and get it ready to hang up. Well, I had a problem. The I got the box down that I keep my silk flower craft supplies ribbon. It's my floral crafts in general. The ribbon I thought I had to use on this project isn't what I thought I had. I thought I had some like three quarter inch Greg Rain black ribbon. I don't. I have very narrow black ribbon, like eighth of an inch black ribbon. And <laughs> it's not going to work. So I have to wait until I can run up to the store and get a spool of, of wider black ribbon. And which is no big, no big deal. I can probably make it up to Walmart tonight or make it to the fabric or craft store or Walmart again, you know. Monday morning so we'll just see if I feel up to going out today I think today I'm, I'm on my own today so I think I'm just gonna take it easy be lazy and do crafts all day so once I get this done and strung and completed and hung up I will show you guys the finished project and now on to what I'm working on now and this pile of goodies is going to be a masquerade mask and then also I'm going to make a matching headdress and this is to be part of my Halloween costume for this year. I love Halloween. Every year I do something fun for Halloween and Halloween I, I will admit is my favorite holiday and I'm gonna do once I get all my decorations up, I'm going to show off my decorations. I'm going to do a little vlog talking about Halloween and about what Halloween was like when I was a kid, why Halloween is my favorite holiday, the kinds of fun things I like to get out and do on Halloween. Basically, the I love Halloween vlog. So, Halloween is on a weekend this year, which is great for most everybody. But for me, that's a problem. Because the person that I usually go do Halloween stuff with is my husband. But he has a seasonal extra job. He works at the Texas Renaissance Festival, which runs from the second weekend in October through Thanksgiving weekend. So he's gone every weekend working for the next two months. And he can't take off Halloween to go do something with me because he manages a booth. So he's in charge. He's got to be there. So and the festival runs all day long. He's going to be there from 7 in the morning until probably 9 at night running the booth, 10 at night running the booth. So he's not going to be able to leave the site to go do something with me. And my other closest person in the world to me. He works weekends, every weekend, Saturdays. You know, he, he works Saturday night. He works late Saturday night. At the earliest, he'd be getting off work 11 to midnight. So we wouldn't have a chance to do anything together and the chance of him getting Halloween night off or slum to none. So, that's not an option. My other friends, not really into Halloween or just don't have time or they want to do the kind of things I'm not really into for Halloween. So, my options this year are a little bit limited. I can go with someone else, do something that's really not my cup of tea, but at least be out of the house. I can find something I would really enjoy doing, go by myself. I can, which I don't mind necessarily doing because I like my own company and I've gone and done things before and I can do them again. I could stay in, take it easy, order a pizza, 
watch scary movies on TV and hand out candy to the few trick-or-treaters that come through our neighborhood, which is an option. We don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters, but we do get some. So, uh, you know, I'd at least have something to do that Halloween, you know, that option for Halloween. Or I can just ride with my husband up to the Renaissance Festival, have him drop me off at the gate. I go in as a patron. I spend the day watching shows, walking around, maybe arrange to meet up with somebody for a while and just enjoy the festival. People watching shows and all that good stuff, which is what I've decided to do. And unless the weather is horrific. So <laughs> if the weather, if it's above 75 degrees, well, okay, we'll say if it's above 80 degrees, below 50 degrees, or pouring rain, I'm going to do the movie and pizza option. But if the weather is remotely nice, I'm going to do the Renaissance Festival option. So I have come up with a costume to wear. And I have a normal Renaissance Festival costume, but I wanted to have something a little bit different because it is going to be Halloween. And I don't feel like I necessarily have to, to, you know, necessarily stick to the theme of the site and the time period. I found a dress from a company called Lotus Traders, and they have... They sell on Amazon, eBay, and they have a website. And they sell a lot of kind of peasanty looking things, and they have a dress that my friend called it a Juliet dress and it's what you would think of as kind of a renaissance-ish or medieval-ish dress and it's kind of got a peasant blouse top with the blousy sleeves and and that have you know elastic and then the full sleeves and it's got the high waist it's got a long skirt and then a pointed over skirt that hangs down and it's really pretty it's kind of like what you would think of as a fair maiden dress and the color I got, they called it olive, but it's a cross between olive and hunter green. So it's a really nice deep green. And what I'm going to do, the theme of what I'm going to be is Mother Nature, Earth Goddess, Earth Mother, along those lines. So I'm going to be making a masquerade mask and a headdress of some sort and out of autumn leaves with some flowers and the supplies that I got I have a paper mache mask I got a bunch of these masks at Target I believe a few years ago I didn't like the way this looked on my face I thought the eye holes were much too small I thought the cheek part came down too low on my cheeks and it just made me look like I had hamster cheeks and the, the top covered my eyebrows, and I pay way too much to get them dyed and waxed to, <laughs> to um, cover them up. So I painted one of them green, tried it on. That didn't help. So I took the green mask, and I took a pen, and I, I drew where I would like to recut the mask and shape the mask tried it on my face. I thought, okay, I can work with that. So I got the Tim Holtz red-handled scissors, and these things will cut through grunge board, and I've cut through, you know, all kinds of stuff with these suckers, and they cut through this no problem. The only problem is this paper mache, this paper, this cardboard is not really high quality cardstock or, or chipboard, so it kind of shredded, which isn't going to be a big issue because this is just the framework for the the leaves I'm going to embellish it with. The leaves that I picked, the brand is called Recollections, and I don't have the packaging for all of these, and I think this is probably four packs. And these are just an assortment of autumn paper leaves in all different beautiful autumn colors. And there's different shapes, sizes, they have some texture to them. I really like the colors. I bought this pack recently because it has more of the gold and the bronze and the burgundy and the brown. And it has different shapes. And then in a craft swap I did, I think last year, one of the things my swap partner gave me was a package of bronze Prima flowers. And I thought these are going to be absolutely perfect to go with this whole concept. So this is what I've got to work with. 
to glue everything down. I'm using the best glue ever, which I won't complain about that. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say it's the best glue ever of all time, forever and ever, because I haven't tried every glue. But this glue is great for this kind of project. First of all, it's got a really fun tip nozzle, okay? Second of all, the glue itself is thick, but not too pasty. It's almost got a gel consistency. So it comes out very smooth and it doesn't drip. It doesn't run. It stays where you put it. Also, a little goes a long way and it dries quick. It sticks quick. So you can run a little bead, run a few dots, hold something down and it's stuck and you can move on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take big leaves, do the main covering with the big leaves, and then go back and put little leaves, you know, in detailed spots like around the eyes. And then once I'm done, I'm going to take some of the fancier leaves and the flowers and put a little medallion on each side and a little medallion at the forehead. And then I'm going to go back and figure out how I'm going to make my headdress. I'm probably going to make a chipboard frame, like a tiara type frame, and do the same thing, gluing down the leaves and then gluing down the flowers and the fancy leaves to make a statement point. I took a little bit of a very light colored distress ink and rubbed on the elastic strap of the mask to kind of make it more of a flesh tone. And I think I need to go back and do another coat of it. once, And then I'm going to need to take some elastic also when I make the, the headdress strap. So that's my project I'm going to start working on today. And when I'm done with it, I will definitely do an update to show you guys what the finished project looks like. And then once I get my costume all together, I'll do a, a picture showing my costume. So that's that for now. I'm getting ready to go fix myself some tea and put on some nice music and sit and glue paper leaves. Bye.